In my experience as a public school teacher and adult trainer, I've personally experienced a phenomenon called trainer burnout, which is an incredibly important thing to understand. And realizing this has brought me to talk about this in any teacher training program, not only how to be an effective teacher, but also how to recognize some of the symptoms of trainer burnout and actually combat this. So the first thing is, what is trainer burnout? Trainer burnout is a state of physical, emotional, or mental exhaustion combined with doubts about your competence and value of your work. In working with young professionals in the teaching profession, they often get burnt out because of the multiple demands that they experience. And this leads them to actually leaving the profession. And so what I want to do is talk a little bit about the three main causes and how we can actually combat this. So first things first, the, the three key causes from the literature talks about dysfunctional work environments, lack of control and lack of social support. So as trainers, when we talk about dysfunction, we talk about an environment that doesn't allow stability in the sense that the trainer is able to effectively work with the participants to reach the outcomes that they are requested to do. Um, this can come from management, this can come from the context of the environment. Where there is dysfunction, there is extra effort to achieve the same outcomes. And that can lead to incredibly um, damaging senses of physical, emotional and mental exhaustion. When we talk about a lack of control, Often trainers are not the decision makers, often the administrators are the decision makers and they often decide how many resources are being allocated to the training, who is trained and how the training is going to con be conducted. And so with those expectations, um, often trainers can feel incredibly um, isolated and incredibly um, disconnected from the actual ability to effect change because they are being sort of controlled externally and often trainers know because they're on the ground what the participants need but that is not necessarily what the administrators um, see as a priority and that lack of control can cause a lot of emotional exhaustion and that emotional and mental exhaustion can be exacerbated by a lack of social support. Training can can be incredibly um, difficult and so a support structure is really needed in order to sort of brainstorm and, and reflect and and uh, come together as a team. Training can be very isolating and this can cause incredible physical, emotional and mental exhaustion. So let's talk a little bit about how we can combat this. So first things first, it's important to establish support networks uh, think about mentors who can who can support you as you go about your training and teaching process. Secondly, it's incredibly important to establish work-life balance. Those trainers and teachers who are dedicating every moment of their day to the pursuit of training and teaching often uh, burn out sooner. And so what ends up happening is if you create balance, you can then prolong and actually become be a teacher for the rest of your life, if you will, or a trainer for a long-term career. But if you do not strike that work-life balance, that outcome is incredibly unlikely. And finally, it's important for trainers to be able to communicate with their managers about realistic budgets and realistic goals that can be set. And this will, these expectations can actually um, really help set the framework for the training and really help set some really strong, strong stability in the training process, which can lead to better outcomes. And so not only can uh, trainer burnout be combated uh, by recognizing what, what causes it, but also these are some helpful tools you can use to actually prolong and not only prolong, but also enjoy and enhance the teaching and training process.